The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, today we are going to have Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford from Crawford Perspectives as our guest at 9.30. He's also going to do another segment at 3.30 this afternoon on Tom O'Brien's show. So we'll have Arch twice today. Um, now, tomorrow we will have the wizard himself, Norm Winsky, will be on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of these markets that we watch from across the pond. As you can see, the German bond has been coming down. That's equivalent to our 30-year Treasury bond. Uh, you'll notice that the DAX has a relatively bearish bias today. You can see the 135 pattern that is there. And then the FTSE is in the process of making a Gartley pattern up here. Uh, just a little bit higher. Uh, we'll see how this all ends up uh, today, so we'll pay close attention. A couple of things happened last night that were very important. I sent out a special uh, email uh, video, of course, on the, uh, the uh, gold because it hit the exact 78% level at 1429.10. We then broke almost exactly $17, $16.80, down to the 382 retracement at 141320. Folks, as long as that 141320 holds, this market's got a chance to go higher. It's acting really nicely from a bullish pattern. Uh, you can't complain about it. And backs off $17, nothing in gold anymore. But uh, watch it closely. The key level is 141310. You get below that, there's trouble in River City. Yesterday, as you remember, we were talking about the uh, pattern that we were looking at in Bitcoin. We had someone from, uh, I believe, where were they from? Uh, I think someone from Ohio had sent a uh, question about the Bitcoin and the pattern that we were looking at. And if you'll see here, uh, we had a beautiful Gartley pattern form up there at the 13,100 level. And uh, folks, this thing, you won't, you, well, those of you that follow the patterns that we look at will believe it, but those of you that don't follow patterns might not believe it. But you can see what's happened here to Bitcoin just in the, uh, get this up here today, you'll be able to see we got up right, we came right down, we dropped uh, well over uh, $2,000. We got down to the 50% retracement of the A leg and 78% retracement of the C leg. So far, that is held. So now this is where, you know, the patterns can change because if this market turns higher, you know, it can easily take out that 13,100 level because the, the, the overall structure of Bitcoin over the last several months has been quite bullish. And it looks like it wants to uh, continue to go higher. But once it hit that number yesterday, it coincided with the chairman of the Federal Reserve saying that they were going to put uh, Facebook uh, on the um, – um, on the hot seat about their new, um, uh, what was it that they got that is so important? Oh, their their cryptocurrency, Acra or Acrimonious or I forget the name of the thing. I, I think I so many of these things, I don't even know what they are. But uh, that's the main thing that we're looking at. Uh, Marshall is telling us that the British pound is moving up. That's a good thing, folks. If you folks were looking uh, at us here on Monday when we were in, we were talking about this. The British pound, it was down there at 124.53. The low was uh, 124.00. Go back on January the 1st, the low was 124.01. Um, so it made a lower low by one tick. And now, of course, we've taken out the highs of, uh, you know, Thursday, uh, uh, Monday, and it looks like it's getting ready to go. If you're in that trade, I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where the, you know, all I, it just started up. That's all we know is a three drive to a bottom pattern. And, you know, whether it goes up from here or not. But the one thing you would want to do, you're up about $700. Your original risk on this was $200. So you're three times what your original risk was. 
Uh, you either take some of it off here if you only have a little bit. If you have a very little bit, I would just hold it, put the stop at break even, because some of these three drive to a bottom patterns, folks, can turn into uh, it's 126.01 now. That's that's a that's a serious move. Now you're up $900. So. Um, you know, I would just let it rip. You know, what are you going to do? Hey, you're, you're home free. You're in a free trade. So that's what it's all about is get to those free trades. And, you know, can I give you some really great advice, folks? Don't look at the machine. Oh, my God. The problem we have with some of these platforms is they're telling you how much money you've made to the exact second. We never had that stuff back in the early days of trading. Hell, we were lucky to get an equity run. But, uh, you know, it's basically uh, they tell you where you are, and when you start looking at money, that clouds the whole picture, boys and girls. Remember, the, the, the only 100% trade that I know of was the one that Larry Williams gave me, and it was called the telephone indicator. And that is, is when you start calculating how much money you're making, reach for the telephone. This is when we had to call in our orders. And... Uh, pick up the telephone and get out of the trade. Now you just pick up your mouse and click on the button and get out. But when you start to that looking at that calculator about how smart you are, how much money you made, uh-oh, eh, eh, eh. judge is ruling, boy, you're going to be in trouble. So just remember that one. That That's that's 100%er. That's, uh, that's really, well, and there's no 100%er, but it's uh, it's really giving the old greed uh, greed uh, uh, arrow uh, a big deal. So let's pay uh, close attention to that. When we come back to the second segment of this, before we come up with uh, Arch Crawford, I want to share with you some things the, that I learned from John Hill that I think you'll enjoy. And the story behind it is is quite interesting anyway. The bonds, folks, uh, were down near that 154 level again. We broke it once. We rallied a point. That was that rally that we had yesterday, which I thought was a dead cat bounce in the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. Here you have a situation where you've got the most bullish Federal Reserve, uh, dovish, I guess what they call it, in uh, since 2017, and yet these notes and bonds have come off uh, pretty substantially. Now they were over, they were leading the market on the way up, so uh, they've had a lot of bullish news and they've not been able to respond to it. So watch when the Fed finally does drop the rate, uh, what, watch watch what happens to them then, because if they don't rally after that, <clears throat> you know there's going to be. Um, a lot of move to the downside, so that's neither neither here nor there. Now we did have a question about the foreign exchange uh, as it relates to uh, the currencies, and I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to bring to your attention here. This happens to be the British pound because this is the CME. And this is the open interest that we're looking at in the British pound futures. You can see the open interest is uh, 248,000. Uh, the open interest increased yesterday by 102, 1002. Folks, 248,000. That that's like that's like a drop in a rain bucket during a thunderstorm when you're trading foreign exchange. So well, the the amount of money that the they use a percentage of foreign exchange that's traded at the Merck versus the major forex banks is very very small. I've heard reports that it's less than than two percent. So, but it's great to trade for smaller traders. You know, 50 contracts and less. That that Merck is a really good place to trade because you get to see the bid and offer. You don't have to worry about that crazy pip spread that they have at the forex, which is all BS. And uh, they have good fills and good stop protection, good liquidity, everything. So the CME is a place to trade it if you're a, a small time trader like myself. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $197 a month with the risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of tfnn.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a, a chart out of uh, John Hill's book, The Ultimate Trading Guide. This is a compilation of all the stuff that John's looked at over his trading career. It's a great book. It was published probably oh, 15, 20 years ago. But this particular uh, sequence that you're looking at basically is stuff that John showed me from uh, Richard Wyckoff, a guy who was very famous back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And basically, you're looking at these markets. You'll notice those dotted lines. That's where the support is. The market breaks down through the support. That's where people put their usual stops, and then the market snaps back above it. This is what really got me started. Those of you that have visited me here in the office here in Tucson and see the, the oil painting behind me uh, hanging above the fireplace uh, that's not going to be on today because it's going to be 108 here in the Old Pueblo. So anyway, if you'll look at this, um, what I did, this was a big transition for me because I was watching these patterns for many, many years, and I knew that when it went down below those levels, that's where people had to stop. So I always gave myself a little bit of room to make sure that I didn't have my stops exactly at the old lows. I would give it a little bit of room. Well, I'm uh, in uh, Zurich, Switzerland, giving a speech at one of the banks, and I was uh, – I got stopped out of four or five different things right at the lows or highs of this, and I, I was very frustrated. I didn't know, you know, you know why it was that way. I didn't find out for about three months later, till I met Bryce Gilmore, that I was being stopped out exactly at the 1.27 below the uh, the key level. And sometimes that level was very, very small amount. It might have only been a few hundred dollars. So by just uh, manipulating my stop by a little bit, it kept me in the position, and it was still okay. But as I met when I met Bryce Gilmore, 
he had a program called the Wave Trader. It would do these automatically, and it would connect all the dots and lines on all these charts, and it would give it a ranking of 1 to 10. And if it was a 10, it meant that there were a lot of things coming together, which is similar to what we try to do when we're looking at the patterns. We're looking for three or four ratios coming together like we see with Gartley's and, and butterflies and the three drive patterns and the expanding triangles, et cetera, et cetera. But as I was going through this uh, during those early years and I was drawing my charts on the commodity perspectives, which were 11 by 14, and I would draw the lines in, not knowing what the heck I was doing. This was back in the, the middle 70s and early 80s all the way up through 86. Uh, you know, I really didn't grasp what the heck I was doing until 87. And um, that was just the beginning. And then in 88, when I met Bryce, I learned more and more. But as my as I was drawing these, my little six-year-old daughter, Laren, would cut these out, and she would color in the little triangles and all these things, as all the dots, and she would make all different colors, and she would cut them out with her little plastic scissors and put them with scotch tape uh, right on the refrigerator. Gosh, I wish I'd have saved some of them, but I didn't. And uh, But anyway, that's when I started to see these on the Wave Trader program uh, later, which was, uh, let me see, that was 74. So that would be 14 years later. It all dawned on me that that's what I had been doing, but not knowing what I was looking at. It's the old, uh, you know, they had to knock me on the head to make me look what I was uh, looking at. So that's where all this comes from. And that's why I look at these things, because when markets go into new lows and they don't, you know, go down right away, uh, that's a you know that's a really good example. In fact, we're looking at de that December cotton. I posted it just a little while ago, you know, to show you that that's uh, that's the type of trade. It made a lower low than yesterday, folks, by one penny. Uh, it's hard to believe, you know, a big contract like cotton, and it's still straighting up from where Mr. Z bought it. But so far, that pattern is holding nicely. Now it hasn't moved. You know, like the British pound has, but maybe it will, maybe it won't. But sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's that's where we already know that. But if you want a really good book about uh, patterns and stuff, uh, I really recommend that Ultimate Trading Guide uh, for John Hill. If you wanted to uh, give John a call, I'll give you his cell number. It's 828-699-2828. Uh, so uh, pay pay close attention to that, folks. It will be uh, it'll be very interesting, you know, to see this thing unfold as it uh, as we get through here. Okay, let's move on to the other one that we want to pay attention to. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Z asked if I have uh, students making monthly pyramids to Tucson. It used to be that way, Mr. Z, but not anymore. I have a few regulars, Marshall and Lynn, come in several times a year, and other people. I'm having a, a real special guest uh, coming in on July 20th. He's going to be with me for a whole month. John Jameson from uh, across the pond over there in uh, the U.K. is coming to uh, spend some time with me working on my artificial intelligence program and some uh, automatic trading signals that he's been showing me that look absolutely fabulous. And I've already agreed to I'm going to bring him over here as my guest, take good care of him, treat him like a prince. And hopefully uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share the stuff of what, the st you know, what we're looking at here. Don't worry, Mr. Z, I'll be back to 4th Street Deli very soon. Sarah's still there. The boys had breakfast there yesterday, so I will get back there uh, eventually, probably uh, towards the end. No, no new book. I won't do any more books, Marshall. What I'll do is I'll share it with the 24-7 uh, the folks and the students, the, the stuff that we get from uh, from John. And, you know, and frankly, it's not a big deal because most of the stuff you share, most people don't pay any attention to it because they don't do the work themselves. But John is in a, you know, I have, I've trained a lot of people and I haven't, you know, haven't trained many like him, but he is uh, really, really good with computers. Uh, he's really good uh, with uh, understanding market momentum and trading and stuff. And so it's going to be a lot of fun to work with him. And it's just going to be the two of us here. So it'll be, uh, we'll be able to get a lot of stuff done and uh, have a little bit of fun playing, playing some poker on the weekends. We'll go down to the old the Desert Diamond and the Casino Del Sol and play in the little uh, $35 and $40 tournaments that they have on the weekends. But anyway, that's what that's what my plans are. So it'll be it'll be interesting. It's I'm all actually very excited about it because I I don't get a chance to work with somebody like him very often. I mean, I, I understand trading pretty good, but I don't understand computers and how to put the stuff together. And boy, he certainly does. And uh, we've got some really interesting things with the opening range. Folks, that opening range is just absolutely powerful. 
And uh, we've got another signal that is just, uh, just oh my gosh! I'm trying to, I'm actually, I'm trying to find one where it hasn't, uh, where it hasn't lost. I mean, it, it's where it's lost. I mean, I, I've been through seven of them this week, and uh, I'm just testing them, of course. But they look extremely interesting, and um, I think we'll have a lot of fun when we get to that level. The other thing is that there is a possibility that we're going to be looking at a major, and I'm talking major, major, major move in the stock market very, very soon. The Bradley model says it's going to be on August the 25th, if you'll remember. Uh, but, you know, it may become later, earlier, I don't know. But uh, something's getting ready to happen very, very quickly here within the next month or so. And I want to be uh, really, really prepared for that because it's uh, those are the kind that you want to be able to do. I can't do this all night stuff that I do most of the time because that's a function of being old. But uh, that's neither that's neither here nor there. Um, the one thing I did want to mention to you folks, it's extremely important today that that uh, dollar, the, the, the gold does not get below 14.12. Uh, if it gets below 1412, it's going to have some serious, uh, serious problems. Now, the other one, if you remember yesterday, oh, we got to take, we'll, stay tuned for Arch Crawford. We'll be right back, folks. Arch. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking to Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona. Temperature today will be 108, so stay in the shade, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the shade. That's for sure. Sam, let's start out here with the tra rates on the Treasury notes that you've got here. What's your feeling here? Are we going to see zero interest rates on these 30-year bonds? Uh, well, actually, it's turning back up uh, a bit mm -hmm. yesterday after hitting uh, solid support. If you have that chart up. Uh, yes, I've got it up. Uh -huh. We have it at the uh, – it, it went a little bit lower than it did um, earlier in the year or late last year. I forget which. And I can't apparently change my charts right now on my computer. I don't know what happened. Oh, there it is. I don't. I know, Arch. It's Mercury retrograde. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm having all kind of trouble with mine too. So whether that has anything to do with it or not, I don't know. But uh, well, here, here's the story. Today is one of the most uh, harsh days. Uh, in that, at uh, two o'clock, two o one. Mars squares Uranus at 351, the sun contraparallels Pluto, which is like an opposition. Mm -hmm. And uh, at 728, this is all Eastern times, so, uh, sun is contraparallel Saturn. So this mm -hmm. is a very empower, powerful date today. Yeah, and, and we've got. Uh, if, if you notice on the uh, major stock indices, they're all up around round numbers. Yes, they the are. The FTX cleared uh, briefly yesterday the 3,000 level. It's now at mm -hmm. 2,998 and change. Mm -hmm. The uh, Dow Jones is 26,940, which is right at 27,000. And the uh, NDX is at 79.10, it could go a little higher and hit 8,000, or it could stabilize around here at 7.9. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the other very odd thing is, is that the, um, the Russell 2000 closed yesterday at 1565, which you've put that in the Hebrew letters, is the strongest name of God in the Old Testament, Yahweh yes. or, or Jehovah to us. Uh, to the Christians. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's pretty esoteric, pal. It's beyond my pay grade. Let's take a look at the oil markets, Sam. Well, just, um, just in, 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 Sam, one aside, more. side, you know, what? that 666 that's in the Bible was, yeah. the, was the low in the uh, 08 market, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. It certainly was. Yeah, triple six. I remember that. The Dow was trading 6,400. Sam, what's your – come on now. Let, be realistic to me. D d this doesn't make any sense to me that you're going to borrow money. You know, someone's going to uh, charge you for holding money and not pay you interest. I mean, that – this does – that that that's beyond uh, it's, common it's sense. Of. It has never happened in the 7,000 years of I've known history. <laughs> yeah, well, like they say, it's different this time. Well, let's take a look at the oil market because we're setting at some pretty well, what, strong resistance up here. About, about those negative interest rates. Yes. It's really good for gold. Mm -hmm. because well, it, yeah, gold is acting good, that's for sure. Gold, you don't have to pay any more on gold, and now you have to pay on, what is it, a 2 or $3 trillion worth of negative interest rate bonds in, in the world. Wow. That's right. The carrying charges back in the 80s when we were, uh, you know, interest rates were so high, the carrying charges were monster. I remember when gold was trading at 860 on January 20th, 1980, December gold, you know, going out uh, 12 months was trading uh, above $1,000 an ounce because I sold some at $1,000 uh -huh. an ounce that day and covered it limit down, but uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> The good, the good old days. <laughs> yeah, boy. Thank, you know, Sam, Sam, folks, for, for all of you that don't know, Sam and I are almost the same age. He was born on April the 17th, and my birthday was uh, July 28th, the same as, uh, by coincidence, the same as El, uh, uh, Ralph Elliott and also several other of my good friends. But uh, the, the main thing is is that uh, things have really changed here just in trading. I mean, the volume. You know, uh, I, I was thinking last night, I was talking to my friend in California. He was a good friend of Ross Perot, and I met 
met Ross in 1965, 66, January 66. Uh, he was there. He owned Walston and Company, and he was looking at different offices, and he happened to love to go salmon fishing, and John was an expert at that. And so I got to have dinner with, uh, you know, Ross Perot, and the volume on the stock exchange that day in January, I believe, is 19. Uh, 66 was 5 million shares. I think we do three times that in Intel now. <laughs> so you can imagine, you know, how much things have changed for heaven's sakes. Wow. Uh, sorry, let's go on to the gold contract, Sam, because we're talking about gold here. And I know that's one of your specialties and you've been very bullish. And uh, it looks like if we clear, clear 1450, we're off to the races. Well, I think uh, we're off to the races now because the big – if you look at the gold chart that I sent, you've got that yeah. neckline across uh, 1365 to 75 area, uh -huh. and we blew through there last week, yep. uh, two three weeks ago, and mm -hmm. have been putzing around. But this is the, the, the six-and-a-half-year breakout of mm -hmm. great significance. Fortunately, I put in the June 3rd letter – that I have the strongest buy signal on gold in years, and it was down around uh, 1270 or 80 on that day. Mm -hmm. so I see I'm, it on your chart. Your red and blue lines are both turning higher right there, too. So that was another really good spot to uh, take a look at it. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm really um, delighted with that. The, uh, Sam, what what do you think is a possibility that we can come back and touch that line there, say, uh, 1362 uh, where the where we broke out from could we go back and touch that one more time it's possible but i don't think it's likely yeah it certainly doesn't want to look like it what's your feeling on silver it's, sam let me i just mean say that i i am pro, I've, I've been staying away from gold for years mm -hmm. traded it once or twice profitable one and unprofitable the other and yeah. this is the most powerful thing that's happened to it yeah in the last sam, decade I, I remember when my grandson was born in uh, 2001, uh, you were the one that told me, you know, I was going to buy some stock for her. And he says, why don't you buy him a couple ounces of gold every month? And, you know, I did. <laughs> and, boy, that turned out to be really good, Sam. <laughs> you know. He he, uh, he actually he, he could have gone to any school he wanted to, but he's he's going to community college because he wants to be a comedian. He's really good too, but he's got all this money, and he was going to go. He was thinking of going to Stanford until he figured out how much it was going to cost him. So he told me he was going to stay there. He said, "Do you want the money back?" <laughs> and I said, "No." I said, "Go ahead." I said, "You know, do do what I do, spend it on women, fast cars, and whatever else you can find." So anyway, let's let's move on here to the next one, Sam. Oh, we got a break coming up here a little bit, and we'll oh, talk about this. My birthday yeah. is the same as J.P. Morgan. That's right, J.P. Morgan's April the seventeenth. You know that his library, if you're ever there, folks, uh, there on Forty Second Street, uh, there in New York, the library comes in right over his birth sign. There's a secret elevator where he comes down from his house into the library. If you could get the chance to see that sometime, really, the Morgan Museum. Stay tuned. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sam Crawford, Crawford Perspectives. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona. Sam, someone's asked a question about silver. Why is it lagging so badly and also platinum? Do you have any feelings on that? Uh, no, I don't. I see it on the chart, and it's not acting anywhere near as well as the gold. Um, I think from a fundamental standpoint, the silver is probably better. But from the chart standpoint, mm -hmm. the gold is breaking out on the upside, and the silver is not uh, confirming. Boy, if silver would ever confirm, boy, that thing would really start to move, I would think. I think it's you know? going to. Uh, that's yeah. my prediction. Uh, we certainly live in interesting times. I uh, posted your stuff on the stock market, Sam, and um, you've got a lot of stuff here. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here in stocks? Um, well, we're up against these round numbers. We're also up against trend lines from back in February of last year, that bottom that was so harsh down is mm -hmm. a, a trend line that uh, leaves a little bit of upside possibilities on some of these. Um, but they're but they're very close. So um, Powell is saying they're going to lower rates at the end of this month. That's the 30th, 31st, the meeting mm -hmm. on the FOMC, and um, that might top it. It's possible that we top it earlier, but uh, I think we'll uh, diddle around and then maybe pop up again the end of the month. Um, before we get the top. Now, <clears throat> it's certainly possible that we can get the top right here. Uh, mm -hmm. Today looks so weird. I'm looking forward to seeing how it closes out today. Mm -hmm. Sam, we've been going up since uh, March of 2009. It's been one of our longest bull runs ever. How much longer do you think it can go? We're in the, what, 11th year now? I mean, I don't think we've ever had a string where we've been up for 11 years without, you know, we've had some small corrections. It is the of, longest, yeah, that, that's yeah. true. It is the longest yeah. period. Yeah. And um, well, I think the reason is because of the, the harshness of the 08, and it's been coming mm -hmm. back slowly. It hasn't been lowering back. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's well, been very steady, and it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's it had a nice yeah. long run. But... Yeah. A lot of the prices are not yet um, severely overextended. Now, I'm not sure they're going to get severely overextended this time because um, in in some senses we could be in a right shoulder, which doesn't have to go above the head. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'm just looking at a long-term momentum chart to say that, mm. not not the actual price chart. All I know, all I know is, Sam, when it's over, they're going to hurt a lot of people. <laughs> but, uh, what are, I, I remember, I remember telling people that about the dot com, and nobody believed me. But this is going to be really nasty when they finally. And I think this quantitative easing thing that's been going on for all these years is not a good thing either. But, you know, we're just two old cowboys sitting out here in the desert thinking, you know. And so when thinking I look at these what charts. Used to work. Yeah, <laughs> ain't that the truth? But I, I was I was rewatching the uh, gr the big short a few weeks ago, yeah. and that yeah. was fabulous. And I, and we were right there with them, you know, shorting yeah. into that market. I remember very very well, Sam. That's a, you know, Sam. I've known you a very very long time since what 1987. But mm -hmm. uh, one of the most memorable things was 9/11 when you and I were all talking on the phone when the uh, the first plane hit. And you remember, Sam, you, you, we, were, we were chatting, and you, you said to me, said, you know, one of my people just called me and said the Pentagon has just been bombed. They didn't know about that for 15 or 20 minutes later before we ever found that about it, and then the second plane hit. But uh, I remember that so vividly, you know, that it was, uh, oh, gosh, what a terrible time. I was in a state of shock, and I, I – uh, well, that's neither here nor there, but, boy, what a, what a terrible – what a it terrible thing. It was a thing. shocking time, yeah. certainly. Yeah, for sure. Okay, tell me, tell me, what is, as far as timing, we got this solar eclipse coming up here, excuse me, this lunar eclipse and uh, full moon coming in here on the 16th of July. Do you think that'll bring anything? Uh, the solar eclipse didn't do anything on the third or the second, so what about the uh, the 16th? Is anything there that would be uh, able to trigger something crazy? I would say that the, uh, the solar eclipse was sort of coincident, very fairly close to that largest uh, earthquake that we've had it was what two days off no something like that it was it was definitely within the time of influence yeah. and I'm a concerned that we may have worse in Southern California yeah um, that 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 quake was right near the San Andreas Fault right there in the mountains you there in Ridgecrest I've been there before and right. uh, that that's a real critical error because that starts shaking there but it's going to shake everywhere but who knows? Heck, I don't know. <laughs> well, the, um, also, uh, in Trump's chart, uh, that eclipse and the few days around it on the 16th, plus or minus two or three days, uh, is tough on his birth chart. So, mm -hmm. does, his star does his chart still look pretty good for the rest of his term? I, I haven't looked that far out. You know, I do a okay. monthly letter, so I've got, yeah, I've got his yeah. chart worked out for the, the for yeah. a year, but yeah. I think that was starting in December yeah. or mm -hmm. February sometime. I don't know. Yeah, Sam, um, what are you what are you seeing in the advanced decline line and new highs to new lows? You seeing anything there that uh, you know brings to your you know lights up uh, the Christmas tree for you? Well, it's it's weakening slightly, but I would not say it's anywhere. Uh, you know, in terms of certain cycles, the one year, the four year, the ten year, um, the, it should kick, it should have a little decline somewhere in here and kick back up probably to a higher high around Labor Day. Mm -hmm. uh, that's your seasonal pattern and a couple of other things. And so I'm I'm looking for the high. Uh, Labor Day plus or minus a week or so in either direction. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's so many things happening in the world out there with all the things going on with Iran and North Korea and everything. Anything could trigger it, and it could roll over on its own volition, too. But uh, I don't know how it's going to end, but uh, I'm going to be there when it starts. Let's, well, you might have to. It's an exciting time. I wouldn't yes. want to miss it. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. It'll be coming. Listen, buddy, we want to thank you for being on. You're going to come on at 3.30 this afternoon when I'm taking uh, Tom O'Brien's place. We're going to have some new stuff to talk about along with some of your charts. So call, get call well, go well rested one, today. Don't play any golf today, Sam, because it's too hot. You could wait a few days, okay? I don't play golf, but I do. That's, uh, I know, I know that's why I said it. <laughs> but, but Sam and I both have a two handicap. Putting and please, uh, please putting and driving, yeah. <laughs> Along with the mental game, Sam Crawford of Crawford Would you Perspectives. Would call me Arch on the afternoon program? 
Yeah, well, I, yeah, I call you Arch. I call you Sam in the morning program and Arch in the afternoon. Folks, I call him Sam because he's got about 26 first names. Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford, and his friends call him Sam. So everybody likes his him a friend. So, Sam, we'll call you whatever we can except late for dinner. Okie doke. Hey, thanks, buddy. And tell your lovely wife uh, that we said hello, and we'll see you this afternoon. All right, fine. Got I bet. You. Folks, you bet. If you want to reach Sam, it's Perspectives, or go into any post office, and you'll see his picture right up there, and you could just get the information right off of that. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to give you a little experiment here. I posted the chart for the July wheat today. We're into July, so this is delivery month. But as you can see, we're setting at the 382 retracement. We've been down here two weeks since the high was made. And we have a big report today coming out at 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, no, 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And uh, the early uh, forecasts are for a bearish wheat and we're sitting right at this 3A2 which means it should be a buy so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment and we're going to 
just put on a mini, mini wheat that says uh, one bushel. Instead of 5,000 bushels, if you call in and give my name, you can buy one bushel. So it's only going to cost you about $5.50 to buy that bushel of wheat. And we're going to see if it's going to be higher into this uh, report that is supposed to be bearish because it's set here at the 382 now for five days. That usually means something. Maybe not, but I bring it to your attention because of the fact that we're setting – you know, right at something that is, uh, you know, very, very important. So let's uh, keep an eye on that. The other one that we want to watch, folks, are the little piggies. We're watching December hogs very, very closely because uh, they're at a big discount to the August hogs, for one thing, and they're making a really nice pattern at the 78% level, and we'll see how that uh, to see how that works. Folks, pay close attention to that 1413 because if we get below 1412 uh, in the gold market, that's not going to be a good sign. I can uh, I can promise you that. So uh, just keep in mind that that's what you uh, want to be watching today. If you're a technician, if you're a fundamentalist, you can go on and watch uh, you know the reruns of uh, uh, All in the Family, whatever they're showing on Me TV. But uh, watch that 1413. Uh, below that is not good. And uh, based on uh, some of the technical things that we look at right here. So uh, that's very, very important. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Be sure to tune in at uh, at the 3.30 show. We're going to have Arch on again, and we're going to cover some of the things about the crop report and a few historical things. 877-927-6648. Thank you.